This is a tutorial on how to add events to the Blue Broward calendar. Blue Broward is a community website where any member can add events to the event calendar that they want to share with other people and also add opinion pieces, endorsements, whatever to the blog. If you don't already have an account, you click on the join link at the bottom of the page, you put in your name, your email, login name and password, and your account will be activated shortly after you confirm your subscription to the Blue Broward email list. Now I'm going to log in under a test account. And when I get to the welcome page, I have some tutorial material over here. This account has been set up to be associated with, with editing for the Coral Springs Parkland Democratic Club. So we see events associated with that club. We also see the projected dates out into the future based on the regular monthly schedule. And we have this notion for clubs of a template, where we know that this club generally meets on the first Thursday at 7.30. And here's some boilerplate information about where they meet and who to contact with questions. We can go in and edit that template. We can also just check off future dates when the club is going to be meeting and add them as a batch to the calendar. When I scroll down here, we'll see that there's now a, a new date for the Coral Springs Club. It's been set up here. It just has the boilerplate details right now, but we can always go back and add more details, add the name of the speaker or whatever. Now, if you're a brand new member and you're not set up as an editor for a particular club, you would just see the things at the top of the page here. And if you had added particular events, they would be shown over here under My Events. So looks like these, these two lists are not quite the same because one of them was added by somebody else. So there are some things that are listed under Coral Springs Club events that are not listed under My Events, but I can still edit the ones that were uh, added for the club because I'm one of the editors for that club. You can also add any event at all just by going here and clicking on post event or also we could go under we could also go under calendar and add new and what this will give us is a blank form we're going to enter the title for the event And this editor will allow me to work more or less like a word processor where I can mark things as bold if I want to. If I wanted to make that a link, I could add a link to a website. And now that is a link in, in the text. So you would fill this out and generally you would want to include information about where the meeting is going to be held, who to contact with questions, and then down the bottom we want to put in the date. Now this is just defaulting to today's date, so we'll say that maybe it's going to be this weekend, it's not going to be at 7 p.m., it's going to be at noon. And if we publish this, We can now view this out on the website. I see a mistake. It's a little edit this link underneath. But here, I can go back and make some changes. Now, the, the difference between adding 
uh, a boilerplate event for a club and adding an event on a standalone basis is one, if I just add it as a standalone event, it's not going to show up in the club listings, but it would show up under my events. If we have multiple people who have rights to edit for the club, they wouldn't be able to go in and, and make uh, corrections not as easily uh, as I would be able to. Now also the, the clubs are set up so that we have this notion of figuring out what is the date, in this case the first Thursday of any upcoming month, and it will try and pre-calculate that. Here I am adding a, a single date. I can go in. It's calculated that the, the first Thursday looks like it will be April 4th. But I could also customize that. Maybe there's going to be a holiday or something else that's conflicting with that date, so we're actually going to meet the following week that month. And we put in note And I, I could save this as a draft if I'm still working on it. I could save it as a draft. Now it's not published yet. I can go out and preview it. And then when I am satisfied that this is ready, I click publish and it would be live on the site. The system for adding a blog post is very similar. I just go to Posts, Add New, or on my dashboard. It's also here, something here that says Post a New Blog Entry. I can go in here, and I basically just have my title, my endorsements. By default, this will be associated with the category opinion, but I could also check off endorsements so that if people are looking at the site, let's go out and, and look at this sample post. If I go out and view this, I will see that it's filed under endorsements. If I click on endorsements, I'll see other things that are in that category. Okay. That's all for now.